Ladies and gentlemen, now today, for a little bit of fun, we had to take Guillotine 2099 into Realm of Legends as a three-star champion to see how she would fare against some of these massive boss fights, because a three-star champion being able to take down, like, half a million hit points, that is a lot of damage, but Guillotine is a character that is just built for damage ramp-up, and especially with the Realm of Legends Wolverine matchup, also has a reversal on her special too. Now, in comparison to the standard version of Guillotine, the Heal Reversal debuff itself is a little bit less effective because instead of reversing by an additional 100%, it's only a 20% reversal. However, with the debuff itself and also all the degeneration, like there's still a fairly sizable amount of heal reversal. And also with every single hit, we're dealing more and more damage via the 100 plus combo ability. So kind of the damage in red with every single strike is going up and up and up. But as you're going to see on some other fights today, this damage isn't really too impressive with a three star version until you get to about like 250 300 hits and then it becomes a really really strong contender there however one of the great things of the special too is that there are so many hits on guillotine and wolverine's regeneration is propped uh, eight percent chance on hit so there's a really good chance when you throw the special too that the regeneration is going to trigger and then start reversing itself which is a really nice little touch there but overall this matchup is going really well there is a little bit of downtime because the heal reversal is fairly short but you can see there's about like a 60 70 percent uptime if we are playing quite aggressively with this heal reversal and also you kind of like backload the first one uh, by getting very close to three bars of power and then doing special two so so far it's actually been 112 hits on the combo and this man is almost down like one more combo or one more regeneration will finish him off and wolverine goes down with 118 additional hits on the combo meter because we loaded up the pre-fight ability from the scarlet witch matchup uh, which allowed us to instantly to jump into that 100 combo so for a three star champion under two minute takedown like really smooth man and in comparison to how three star Aegon performs in Realm of Legends and also Star Lord like a much quicker kill than both of those characters so yeah that was like, a really decent performance man from what I've seen with today's run if you're just looking to do like Realm of Legends with a three star champion you're a skilled player you don't really have that much of a developed roster I think out of all the characters in the game Guillotine 2099 is actually the best option because she counters like almost every like really problematic match matchup. Uh, Juggernaut isn't a bad matchup. He's probably the most annoying to deal with just because of all the unstoppable. But aside from that, man, she has really, really good block proficiency, even on the three star. So even though the opponents have like a fair bit of additional attack and also the challenger rating difference, uh, you're barely like taking any damage on the parries. And if you pay very close attention, because we've got the pre-fight ability here active in the Scarlet Witch matchup that gives us a little bit of regeneration on every single medium. If you look at the health, we're going to go from like 80 percent all the way up to a hundred percent so not only can she sustain but she can also heal throughout every single matchup if you're a very skilled player as well now this fight against scarlet witch is particularly noteworthy just because very much like crossbones guillotine 2099 cannot crit with her standard attacks now she does have a pre-fight ability that allows you to get a guaranteed crit one in every 20 hits however for this matchup if you don't activate that then you are never ever gonna land a critical strike and and against Scarlet Witch, if you never crit, she can never apply her weakness, she can never power drain, or apply any of the other debuffs that you would usually have when fighting Scarlet Witch, but even if she did apply the poison, uh, Guillotine is like poison immune anyway, so it isn't too much trouble, but like not getting power drained and not getting that weakness is just such a massive benefit to this matchup, and again, it just takes out everything that is kind of slightly annoying with the Scarlet Witch matchup, and just makes it a very straightforward, very easy encounter, where you've just got a battle to this last in the corner. So at this point in the matchup, we're about 159, 160 hits on the combo, and you've got to pay very close attention to the damage in red that occurs every time Guillotine swings in, because now it's about like 2,000 every single strike, and again, for every single hit, that damage just ramps up more and more and more, so as long as you can keep that combo, and you have safety stuff, like I've got Nick Fury's Evade, and also Combo Shield, which I activated via the heavy attacks at the start of the encounter, so we've got a little bit of safety even if we do slip up uh, that we are not going to lose our combo and that's something that I absolutely love about this champion because I had so many times like back in the day man playing about with Star Lord where you just kind of like fail lose your combo and you just lose out like 200 hits worth of damage ramp up and it was absolutely gutting so one of the things I just love about Guillotine man is just she's got a lot of uh, safety net stuff you can add to the champion you've got the awakened ability the combo shield via heavies and also the Nick Fury evade synergy as well so now we're 
draw on about 240 additional hits. Like almost every single attack is dealing about 3,000 damage, plus even more potential from the degeneration. And the degeneration, like, is really nasty, man. It's about 141 damage every half a second. So that's almost 900 damage for every single degeneration, which certainly ain't too bad at all there. Here, I'm getting so close to death, and I don't want to kill Scarlet Witch without a special three, because again, Wolverine's next. Uh, so yeah, I didn't plan this one out too well. So at this point, I need to kind of parry, get a little bit of power, and also take some blocked hits as well, just so we can get to a special three and execute Scarlet Witch here. But this was definitely a, uh, a fairly poor plan in terms of the execution. But there we go, single hit in, straight into a special three, and Scarlet Witch is instantly going to get one shot, providing your opponent is below 5% health. It's just an instant KO, and also it allows you to start the next fight with 100 hits. And that's where we could race into Wolverine instantly with 100 hits on our combo. Also to note, that fight was 272 hits, and the average fight, if you end with a special three and you have that pre-fight ability, is going to be anywhere between about 260 to 280 in my experience. Uh, so that means like her damage output is really quite a bit better than the majority of five-star champions at rank three, and better than almost every single five-star champion at rank two or four-star champion at rank four. But again, the longer the matchup, the more damage output this champion has, and I think if the Labyrinth of Legends in Rage Timer didn't exist, you'd even be able to take the three-star version of this character into Labyrinth of Legends uh, and have a little bit of an interesting time. I'm not too sure whether or not the four-star version is going to work and be viable for Labyrinth just due to the Enrage Timer. I think, comparatively speaking, Aegon is still going to be like the much better champion for Labyrinth of Legends fights, because again, if the Enrage Timer does uh, trigger a little bit too soon, you can't end the fight perfectly and start with like a hundred combo on the next fight, so it's going to be a little bit awkward. Uh, but also, just to show you, this is kind of a, a fight where we don't start with the 100 combo ability, and that's because we needed to end with a special 2 on Wolverine, just because we didn't want to risk going for the special 3, and then having like Wolverine regenerate up to 4. But the Black Bolt matchup is really good for ramping up, just due to the fact that every time he uses a special 2, he's like the older version of Black Bolt, so he kind of suicides 5% of his maximum health, uh, which is just an astronomical amount of damage. You can see there, uh, takes about 27,000 damage every single time this champion uses a special 2. So this is a good one just because it, you know, allows you to get back into the swing of things, build up kind of that pre fight ability so that you're ready to tackle the final Hulk boss. So it's just a case of playing very aggressively here, trying to push this man to a special 2 as often as possible. Uh, but yeah, I didn't want to kind of like bore you guys with all of the fights today because they all are quite similar once you've seen, you know, one fight with Guillotine, you've seen them all really. Uh, but I just wanted to showcase that three star Realm of Legends full run was entirely possible. And just going through the fights like Winter Soldier, the first fight is one of the worst fights uh, just because you don't immediately start with 100 hits on your combo. So Winter Soldier is about 360 hits and the special two still hits relatively hard like on any three star champion. So you just got to take it a little bit slower, kind of bait out those special ones. Uh, Captain Marvel, really straightforward, really quick, really easy matchup. Then Juggernaut, you just got to make sure you don't get clipped by the unstoppable or any of the special attacks so juggernaut isn't too bad he's just like a little bit annoying just because of the unstoppable kind of slows down the pace of the fight a little bit uh rhino storm very straightforward easy matchups like vision's a really good matchup for guillotine because most champions that have like a sword you know deal a lot of bleed damage and get gimped massively when it comes to uh their matchup against like the og version of vision however guillotine because she's dealing degeneration damage it's just like a standard fight for her, so very easy, like 260 odd hits there. Black Panther, again, very easy. And all the rest of the fights, Scarlet Witch, Wolverine, Black Bolt, and also Hulk, uh, you're going to see in today's video. And you can see they're really straightforward matchups. You just need to know how to parry, how to evade, and you can absolutely dominate the Realm Legends with this last. So we're at 222 hits here. Black Bolt has done a great job of helping us get him down, which is kind of substituted for not having the pre fight ability here, which is really, really nice. So he kind of kamikazes himself there to, uh, what is it, 13%. We take him down to 10% there with a few more hits, and then we just need to make sure he doesn't accidentally kill himself for the final 5% uh, using a special 2 of his own. So we're trying to bait out a special 1 here. A couple of hits there. Don't push him to the special 2 purposefully. Going for another combo. Interrupt with a special 3, and Black Bolt is down in just over 250 hits there uh, without the pre fight ability. But again, you know, he did a lot of work to uh, get himself down there, so definitely shaved off like 100 or so hits. That it would have taken us. So that was uh, a pretty good time. But moving on to the final matchup, we've got the Hulk 
In terms of pre-fight ability as well, for pretty much every single fight in Realm of Legends, I use the one where you regenerate like 5% of the damage dealt on every single medium, just because it adds like a really good level of sustainability to Guillotine 2099. It's not the absolute best heal in the game, but it's enough to kind of keep the champion topped up if you're playing very, very well, and avoid using any health potions, because again, that's another massive pro of this champion, just with all this little like trickle of healing here and there. If you're playing a character like Star-Lord in Realm of Legends as a three star champion you're gonna get chipped down you're not gonna be able to kind of keep yourself topped up and you need to substitute in health potions unless you already are like that sick of a player that you're not really parrying you're just going for the intercept every single time but realm of legends can be a piece of content that is a little bit uh, inconsistent to get intercepts in playing three star guillotine today has made me very excited like in a few months time when this champion is in the three star basic the four star basic and the five star basic as well because if a new player gets guillotine as one of their first like uh, four or five star champions there is so much you can do with this character she's got some great base utility going to be very helpful for a lot of the variant content especially variant three act five act six got a lot of potential to punch up as the five star version for content like labyrinth of legends as well uh, even a maxed out five star kind of remains to be seen might be viable might be a really really good option for the abyss of legends but at this current point in time we don't really know the requirements for the abyss of legends Legends, and you know if Act 6 is anything to go by, hopefully they've learned their lesson not to add Stargates, but I really hope the Abyss of Legends isn't going to be 6 star champions only, because that would suck, that would be a really, really bad time, but we're absolutely murdering this Hulk here, we've kind of got to a point, we've got about 140 hits on the combo, so every single hit is dealing about like 400, 300 damage, uh, plus an additional 1600 to 1700 uh, additional damage on top of that, so like combined all our hits I think you know as we're ramping it up and up are almost dealing about 2,500 damage per swing which when you think about it for a three star champion add the degeneration on top is really really sick damage output so once you get to that 150 hits plus like the damage on this character just becomes pretty phenomenal for a three star champion um, and I'm a little bit curious as well to kind of find out what the damage output levels for this character feel like on a fully maxed out four star because I think she's going to be bloody enjoyable to play but another special two there to bring us just over 300 hits and the thing i love about the special two again it's got like eight hits on it so there's just so much damage output especially once you've got this champion ramped up and it just ramps up your damage output even more because this character is all about hits 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 so we're bringing hulk down now to 28 percent we're kind of at the point in the fight where almost every single hit is taking him down one percent health uh, which is very very nice to see and also hulk being the final boss of realm of legends we don't need to worry about capturing the soul of the special three so we can just drill in with some really really mean special twos so we fire another one off going for a parry straight into a five combo dodge that special two there and then go for another five combo straight into i believe a three combo here special two for a glorious little finish and realm of legends absolutely dominated by guillotine 2099 smash that like button if you enjoyed today's gameplay showcase that'd be greatly appreciated but aside from that ladies and gentlemen take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.